Master Dylan, how was school? I want to talk about it. Good job, I'm a ghost. Well, that could have been messy. Good that school, bruv? He doesn't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. What? Right, don't talk about it then. They made me do a homework project with the most annoying girl in the school. What makes this girl so annoying, Master Dylan? Oh, I think she's a witch. A witch? We must act quickly. I think I have my grandfather's old witch hunting kit somewhere. Slow down, Dorothy. I don't think she's a witch. Oh, but every time I talk to her, I turn into a gibbering wreck. I can't speak. I feel dizzy and clumsy. I just want to run away. Oh, sounds like someone's got a crush. <laughs> Sometimes, when we like somebody as more than just a friend, it can make us a bit... Crazy. Peculiar. A bit gaga. Not right in one's head. I was going to say... vulnerable. If you really like this girl, Master Dylan, you should tell her how you feel. Danny and I may no longer be together, but I've never regretted telling her how I truly felt. It's Fiona! Um, hello? No, no, it's not. It's his handsome big brother. Do you want me to get Romeo for you? I mean, do you want me to get Dylan for you? All right, here he is. Kissy, kissy. He's got it bad. I've admired your beauty for such a long time. I could eat you all up. <laughs> you scrumptious thing. Mm. I love you. Diego? Yeah? Were you just telling that piece of cheese that you love it? Huh? Huh? Uh, um, what cheese? Yeah, you're right, Trafford. Maybe I'd be less nervous if I knew she liked me too. But how am I ever going to find out? Yes. Well, reptiles don't get nervous. If I acted more like a lizard... Ah, courtship rituals of the reptile kingdom. <laughs> this should do the trick. Watch up, to SP! Just about to watch a DVD on reptiles. Snooze! Let's have some fun. I was in the dungeon earlier, and check this out. It's a thumb screw. I thought we could use it on carrots and Jimmy. Look, fun will have to wait. I have a girl coming from school to work on a moths project with me. Oh, sums sound so boring. Not maths, moths. Depressed butterflies. Still boring. Look, I need to find out whether she likes me as me. And the only way I can do that is by acting like a reptile. And why do you need to know if this human girl has a crush on you? Well, because the others think I may have a tiny crush on her. What? Mm, perhaps if she feels the same way, oh, we could hang out together. Um, excuse me, you've already got someone to hang out with. Me? Yeah, but you can't leave the castle, Ezzy. Fiona and I could breed newts together. Visit gecko sentries. After all we've been through, you're ditching me just like that for some girl you barely know? No, I'm not ditching you. It would just be nice to have a human friend too. Some best friend you are. I hear you, Trafford. Girls. <laughs> And Gabe was like, if you like someone, you should tell them. That's not bad advice, cuz. Did you see Kate's face? Between me and you, she's got a little crush on someone herself. You really think so? Who? Well, let's just say it's not someone who lives in the castle, but it's someone who owns the castle. You mean? Uh-huh. No way. Yes way. You know, I always suspected that, but I never imagined. You know, you've either got it or you ain't. Hear that, J Dog? Kate likes you. And now, it's time to tell her you feel the same way. Swagalicious. <laughs> oh, no. Some male reptiles attract a man by changing their shape and colour. If a female eastern fence lizard isn't interested in the male, she will arch her back and jump sideways. This is dynamite, Trafford. If I 
puff myself up and change my colour, Fiona might tell me she likes me. But if she arches her back and leaps sideways, well, then at least I know she's not interested. High five! <laughs> about a nun who gets transported to an alien planet with extremely high gravity. It's called the One Ton Nun. Well, the big news here is that Dylan has got his first big crush. <laughs> and Gabe was going off on one about how we should all shout from the rooftops if there's someone that we like. Good advice. And if we spend forever waiting for boys to say they like us, then we'll never know. Well, I haven't got time to have a crush anyway. It's OK, you know. What's OK? Well, if you like Rich. What? what? <laughs> I don't like Rich. Who told you that? What, what a ridiculous thing to say. I mean, even the thought that I could possibly like Rich is ridiculous. I, I... I think you make a cute couple. What if he doesn't feel the same way? But what if he does? I need to be sure. Danny. Oh, that's my cue for rehearsals. Good luck, Kate. so long to answer the door. Uh, I... I... Socks! Oh, no, 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 no! Did you just arch your back? Dylan, we don't have time for this. I just want to know if we need to get started on our project. Which we? I'll just stay there. I'll be right behind you. What's it like living in a castle? Well, it beats living in a cow shed. Have you lived in a cow shed? No, but I saw one on a documentary once. Or did I dream that? You dream about watching documentaries. Oh, you're such a joker. <laughs> oh, that's me. Always joking around. Oh. Hello, hello. Lovely to meet you, Fiona. I am Dylan's older brother. Oh, uh, yeah, we spoke on the phone just before Dylan hung up on me. Oh. There was a gust of wind and just blew the phone out of my hands. So, has my little bro told you about all his feelings yet, huh? Why? How are you feeling, Dylan? Feeling. Feeling like we've got lots of homework to do. Come on. Oh, stop winding them up. You never know they might be made for each other. I never knew you were such a romantic. Yeah, well, only the people I care about. Well, you know, <laughs> got stuff to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead busy. I'll, I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. um, and, um, thanks. What were you doing? I believe you young humans call it hip-hop. Look, look, I've got some gossip and I really need to tell someone or I'm gonna burst. I'm not sure it's very pleasant to gossip about people. <laughs> but it's about Kate. Gossiping really isn't very gentlemanly, especially when it's about one's female friends. But she's got a crush on someone. Who? Ha! <laughs> Come on, Gabe. Who else is she gonna get a crush on? <laughs> He's in this very room. Oh, no. Oh, yes. But don't tell anyone. I cannot believe another human has fallen in love with me. Then again, Gabe is a babe. <laughs> Stop it. So, as our project is on the life cycle of Lepidoptera, her moths and butterflies, I thought we could make a paper mache model of a mottled rustic moth. Now, you can do the wings whilst I focus on the thorax and abdomen. What are you doing? Well, it's what male chameleons do when they, um, when they, uh, like a lady chameleon. Oh, and here's a funny one. Geckos lick the heads of their mates. Focus, Dylan. Our project has to be about moths. Not chameleons, not geckos, or anything else. Just moths. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go and get my stuff. 
Right. Let's... Huh? Easy there, cuz. Watch the threads. Sorry, Jimmy. Wow, you look smart. I look sharp, like a razor blade. You might be just the right person to help. Is this about your crush? <sighs> Nothing I try works. I've tried doing the guttural noises and this. <laughs> and I've tried looking in the back of her head. Whoa. But I still don't know whether she likes me or not. Cuz, come to the right man. Wait in Dr. Jimmy's love clinic, and I'll be right back. Wow, and there's me thinking this was just the library. <sighs> Have you ever been in love, Diego? Just once, Roxy, just once. What happened? Her name was Ginger. She had soft, warm fur and a big towel. She had eyes you could just get lost in. So what happened? We was from two different worlds, Roxy. Two different worlds. Some things are just not meant to be, you know? Why didn't it work? It was the constant hairballs, the smell of tuna, and she tried to eat me on our first date. This ginger... She didn't happen to be a cat, did she? I still miss her. <laughs> Looking fresh, cuz. What if my trousers fall down? I don't want Fiona to see my undies. Forget about your pants. What, you want me to go commando? No, no, no. I mean, it's your attitude you need to work on. You need to act like you and her are already an item. Look, imagine I'm her. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Fiona. Uh. Why are you wearing Jimmy's clothes? Cos, this is a role play. Imagine I'm not wearing my clothes. OK. Hi, Dylan. <gasps> Fiona, you're naked. Wow. Right. Imagine I'm Fiona wearing Fiona's clothes. Now try again with a bit more swag. Swagalicious. No, no, no. Too soon. You need to drop a few compliment bombs, sit back for the reaction, and then to the Swagalicious. Why are you getting it? Look, I better go. I need to catch Kate before she leaves. Stay fresh, cuz. Wait! Oh. I still don't know what I'm really supposed to be doing. Look, if in doubt, swag it out. <laughs> Kate! Kate, wait! Yeah, Rich? Look, I really wanted to say to hey, you. Hey, 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 friend Liz. What's up, Jim? Uh, Kate, uh, maybe you and me could go catch a quick DVD before you go home tonight? Yeah, OK, well, uh, all three of us could. Us. Could... I mean, you and me don't get to spend enough time together. Right. Yeah, well, I, I guess there's nothing wrong with two friends going watching a DVD. Great. Let's go, Freckles. <laughs> Have fun. Did you, um, say something? No. No, no, nothing at all. OK. OK, go on. What's up, baby Tron? Where have you been? I had to start on the wings myself, and there have been some very strange things happening here. Well, there's some very strange things happening in my heart, too. You hear that? Boom, bada, boo. Beats for you, my little swag doll. You're not like this at school. At school, you're focused on your work. Well, some things are more important than work. Things like the moon. Dylan, you crushed my moth. Sorry. I was 
Oh, great. I've got moth paint all over my butt, and these trousers aren't even mine. Where are you going? To get changed. Great. Now I'm going to have to start all over. Time shakes things up a bit. Oh no! Ah. Oh. I love being a ghost. Ah, Master Dylan, how goes it with Fiona? Oh, I've tried acting like a lizard. I've tried acting like Jimmy, and neither's worked. Having as I believe it is called, swagger. It's all well and good, but in my experience, the female kind like romance, poetry, and flowers. <laughs> gotcha. Just wish she'd tell me how she feels before my crush gets any worse. Oh my. You're right, Master Dylan, the Lady Caitlin. I must tell her how I feel. About what? The Lady Caitlin has feelings for me. And alas, I do not feel the same way. I must save her before it goes too far and her heart gets broken. Is this castle haunted? Uh, what gives you that idea? For you, my lady. Oh, get them out of my face. I've got chronic hay fever. You... You just go on ahead and I just need to go and do something. What can possibly be more important than our project? I'm feeling ill. I, I need the toilet. No, no, I don't need the toilet. I need to go into a room where the toilet is and do something important, but uh, the complete opposite of going to the toilet, but just as important. Um, what's with all the flowers and candles? Power cut. That only explains the candles, not the flowers. I'm training to be a florist. Since when did you want to become a florist? Since like forever. Now, come and help me choose a movie. Alright. Uh, lo love's great adventure. A heart as big as a mountain. Jimmy, these are all soppy romantic films. I thought you were more of a aliens and robots kind of guy. Even robots can fall in love. Thanks. Look, ah, Jimmy, you know I like you. And I like you too. And, um, and, and sometimes two friends, hmm? can become something more. Mm -hmm. But the... Shh. OK, it's OK. You don't have to say anything. I feel the same way. <clears throat> don't you knock. My apologies. I just need a moment with the Lady Kitten. Yeah. <clears throat> <sighs> what can I do for you, Gabe? My lady, I like you very much. And I like you too. And sometimes friends may become something much, much more. What is going on? But I must tell you that we cannot be together. You're a human, I'm a ghost. I know from experience it just won't work. Could not agree more. I know this must be hard for you to take, given how you feel about me. How I feel about you? What are you talking about? that you have feelings for me. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, old school. It's me she likes. I think you are mistaken. I think you're mistaken. It's me she likes, Master <laughs> Jimmy. She likes me. I think we all know that it's me the human girls tend to fall in love with around here. <laughs> Enough! I don't like either of you in that way. You don't? But I thought... You thought wrong. Like, so wrong. I mean, right is, is over here, and over there... Like, way, way over there, like, so far in the distance that you can't even see it, is Wrongtown, hmm? 
And there is where you live. I suppose you want to watch a film. What have you got? Love's Great Adventure. Perfect. <laughs> OK. Hey, there you are. Why are you trying to ruin things between me and Fiona? Who's Fiona? I don't know any Fiona. Yes, you do. And you're trying to ruin my chances with her. Who? Me? As if. And you're using your ghostly powers on her? She's just a human. Why would I care? I don't know, because you like causing mischief. I never cause mischief just for the sake of it. Ow! You know what? Maybe I'll just hang out with Trafford. Maybe he still likes me. I still like you. Oh, really? What's wrong with you? OK, fine. I admit it. I'm jealous. And don't get any big ideas that I have a crush on you. OK, buddy boy? I'm jealous of what? Dylan, you're my best friend. I don't want to lose you to some random or you'd rather hang out with. Bless me, that won't happen. You'll always be my best friend, whoever I have a crush on. Really? And anyway, you don't need to worry about Fiona. She'll never be interested in me in a billion years now. Why not? I've been trying to find out whether she likes me by acting like a lizard and Jimmy and Gabe. And she just thinks I'm weird. Have you tried acting like you? I'm shy and tongue-tied when I try to be me. Dylan, you're my best friend because you are you. And if Fiona doesn't like that, well, she doesn't deserve you anyway. Oh, that's beautiful, Rich. When are you going to play it for Kate? Wait, look, this is not for Kate. You're allowed to like her, you know. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, and I'm a jar of pickled eggs. Boys! Oh. Right, time to make myself scarce. Thanks, guys. So, is this a good time to ask if everything's all right? No, actually, everything's not okay. Thanks for asking. <sighs> Gabe and Jimmy are both completely ridiculous. They both think I've got a thing for them. And do you? No. He was happy watching DVDs with Jimmy. So what? He's my friend. I'm your friend too. Well, uh, anyway, th thanks for the chat. What? No, no, wait, you can't wait. What is it? It's lovely. He said chemistry between the stairs. I'm gonna show you that I really care, yeah. Let's just let's pretend we never heard that, yeah? Even between your weird behaviour and this ghost stuff. I've had it with this place. Look, can't we start again? I can't promise not to sit on your moth, but I can try to be me. Why wouldn't you have been you in the first place? I thought you found the real me a bit weird. Dylan, I see the real you at school every day. Yeah, you're weird, but you're not like anyone else. Some people find the fact that I like lizards a bit strange. Well, if you're strange, so am I. I like insects. Now this is Ingrid, my stick insect. I take her everywhere with me. Hey, we should introduce her to Trafford. Maybe they'll like one another too. Did you write that song for me? Look, it was just a demo. I was only mucking around. No, it isn't. Yeah. What did you? <laughs> What's happened? Oh. His lizard just ate my stick insect. Technically, Trafford's a dragon. I don't care if it's a flying horse. Look, Fiona, I'm really sorry. Are they ghosts? Yeah. I'm Esme, Dylan's best friend. Nice to meet you. So this place is haunted. <laughs> Dylan, you invited me here and didn't tell me you had ghosts. There didn't seem to be a right time to drop it into the conversation. I'm sorry, Dylan but it's obviously never going to work out between us. You like reptiles and ghosts. I like insects and humans. We're just too different. 
Sorry, little man. Don't worry. There's plenty more fish in the sea. Hey, who needs a girlfriend when you've got a ghost friend? Let's go cause some mischief. Yeah, Kate, um, about earlier. Forget about it. I don't really like you. I mean, I was just joking around. <laughs> As was I. It was a joke. April Fools. It isn't April. That makes me double the joker. <laughs> Swaggerific. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'm a one-horse girl anyway. You are? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I... I mean, um... Oh, would you look at the time? Well, I better go and feed Prince William. See you later, guys. But Lady Kitlin wasn't wearing a watch. I think someone likes you, cuz. Oh. Huh.